What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Coke Gotti, coming at y'all with another video. In this video, we're going to get into my predictions for Iowa State season. Before we start, hit that like and subscribe button, and let's ride. All right. Last year, Iowa State <clears throat> surprised a lot of people. They had a strong season. The running back was phenomenal. The quarterback came in, Brock Purdy. Was it Brock Purdy? Yeah, Brock Purdy. He came in, started shining, eating, and was looking great for them. Led them to an 8-4 and four record. A big step for Iowa State because they normally ain't shit. And I won't lie, they have their years where they're a upset king. They'll shock the world and upset the big dogs of the Big 12, but nothing really what they did last year. This series, season coming up, they got Brock Purdy returning. They're running back. Went on to the draft to get drafted. They still have one of his key receivers returning from last season. And the entire starting offensive line will be returning. Almost all of the front seven on defense is returning. They just got a lot of players returning. All right. Starting the season off, they're at the house and they play Northern Iowa. That should definitely be an easy victory for them. Cupcake game to begin the season. Then they get a bye week. And then they're at the house to play Iowa and state rivals out of conference game. <clears throat> I got Iowa State winning this game. Of course, it's going to be a hard fought battle. It could go either way. I'm picking Iowa State. I just feel like they have too much on, too much returning, too much veteran experience returning, too much on the offense, and they're they're set for it to have a great season. Then after that, they stay at the house and they play Louisiana Monroe. There shouldn't be no struggle there. If they do, then that's just a bad look for Iowa State. But I got them winning that game. Then they go on the road and play Baylor. Like I said before, I believe Baylor's going to be much improved this year. And this could turn into a shootout. But I feel like Iowa State will win the game. One thing about Iowa State, in the Big 12, they normally have a pretty good defense for their conference. And right now they have a... Pretty solid offense to go along with it. So that's going to make them a tough team for anyone in the Big 12. I got them beating Baylor. Then they go back to the house and play TCU. This is another game that's going to be tough. It could go another one way or the other. I'm picking Iowa State to win this game, though. I don't think TCU will be able to get it done. I think Iowa State has too much going for them. And I believe that them boys are going to be really hungry this year. Really hungry. Then they go on the road to West Virginia. And honestly, I feel like West Virginia is not going to be good at all this year. Iowa State should be able to win this game. But I'm picking West Virginia to win this game. I just feel like by this point in the season, Iowa State's going to be at a place where they don't, they're don't they never really at. That will put them at, what, 3, 4, 5, 5 and 0, oh, midway through the season. They're going on the road into Morgantown to play a conference game. I believe it would be a close one. I believe Iowa State would just slip away and lose the game near the end. But then again, they could win the game. But then they stay on the road and they play Texas Tech. I, I would have them bouncing back from the loss to West Virginia and getting the win over Texas Tech. But that's going to be another battle. It, honestly, in the Big 12, besides Oklahoma and Texas, there's going to be a lot of Good at his games, a lot of battles. A lot of these teams are pretty evenly matched up. But I got Iowa State winning this game. And then they come back to the house and they play Oklahoma State. I got them winning that game. <clears throat> I don't think Oklahoma State will be able to keep up with them. So I got them winning that. Then they get a bye week and then they go on the road to play Oklahoma. And this is the real test for Iowa State. You're gonna have if they want to run, if they want a chance at winning the Big 12. They're going to have to knock off Texas or Oklahoma or maybe even both. I got them going into Oklahoma. And I got them losing that game. I don't see them winning. Oklahoma's too loaded. I don't see no one in the Big 12 with enough off. I don't, I don't know if there's anyone in the country besides maybe Bama or Clemson with enough firepower to win a shootout against uh, Oklahoma. And the big, I mean, Iowa State, what they have going for them for the best bet in that game is their defense. But I don't know if they've got enough defense for that. So I got them losing that game. Then they come back to the house 
and they play Texas. Back to back, Oklahoma, Texas. The two games you have to win if you're going to try to win the Big 12. That'll be another good game. Texas doesn't have the firepower Oklahoma does. I don't even know if I'd say they have the firepower Iowa State has, but they have a defense, and they have a very good coach. <clears throat> and Texas is also as hungry. And I got, I got Texas winning that game against Iowa State. It could go the other way around, but I just see Texas winning that game. It's going to be a battle for sure. I just don't see Iowa State taking the W against Oklahoma or Texas. Then they got Kansas. They'll be playing Kansas. They'll be home. That should be an easy victory for them. And then they'll be able to finish the season off on the road playing Kansas State. I don't see why they would have any problems with that. And I'm pretty sure that they're going to be hungry trying to fight every last little game of the season after losing to Oklahoma and Texas. So I don't see them losing that game. So my predictions, I got Iowa State going 9-3. and Worst case scenario, I can see them going 7-5. and Best case scenario, I can see them going 10 and 2, maybe 11 and 1. But I'm predicting that they'll finish the season out at 9 and 3. <clears throat> but make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe button. I got another Big 12 team I'm going to do, and then I'm going to move on to the SEC. It's your boy, Coke Gotti, and I'm out.